So to begin, each time you want to create IES, I want you to have something in mind. It works with light. And usually it works with disk light or maybe rectangular light, but mostly disk light because IES light works very well with spotlight. Okay. So if you want to, when you want to create light in 3 ds Max, you can simply come over here and click on this light, you know, Corona Render Light. Or you can simply come over here, you know, come over here, then go to Corona and then you can select your light. And then come down here to change the shape, you know, to disk. So now we are going to go ahead and create our lights like so. Okay, I'm going to position it well. Now I'm going to select this spotlight and I'm going to isolate both of them and then, you know, a bit a little bit let me put it in a way that um, hmm. then raise it up to the extent i want it to go to okay and then now i'm going to bring back every other thing now let's go ahead and duplicate these lights all over the place where we want to have spotlights now i'm going to leave it at instance so that whatever changes i make to one we happen at the other ones all right, so let's take an interactive render and see the effect of the light in this space. All right. So you can see the light that we just put, the way it is affecting the wall. Like you can see the pattern on the wall. This is just basic lighting. We have not added the IES lights yet. So, because we make the light um, instances, whatever changes we make to one is going to affect others. So, I'm just going to select one of those lights. And then I'm going to show you the Corona IES profiles. Okay. So, to get them, you have to head over to this place. But first of all, let's turn off all these things. So, we can have our lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, down here, you can see IES. Click on None. It's going to take you to, you know, where Corona IES light patterns are. We have like 11 light patterns over here. Okay? So, you come over here, you select one. Let's select this first one. And then let's hit Open. You can see we have a pattern on this wall. This is the IES pattern of that, you know, the board that I just chose. Okay, let me make it big. So you can see the pattern on the wall. This is what IES does for you. It adds light pattern, realistic light patterns on the wall. Okay, so if, you know, you look at this library that, they, that we have here, and um, none of them is giving you what you want. Okay, you can actually go over to, there's a, a website, I'm going to put the link in the description, ieslibrary.com. So it is very simple, you know, easy to navigate library. Just click on the browse library, it's going to bring out a lot of IES, you know, profile, you can see more. Okay. Then when you come over here, any one you like, you can just, like this one now, you can just click on it. And then you download IES and it quickly it downloads it for you. It's as simple as that. And then you come over here and you go and you load it in. Okay, you select it and you load it in. All right, you can see the IES that we just loaded over here. Okay, so another thing I want to bring to your notice is keep sharp patterns. If we turn it off, the edges won't be that sharp again. But I suggest you always keep it on because it makes the, the IES light more defined. All right. Okay. So if you want, when you want to change color of light, like every other light in Corona, you can do it from here and you can do it from light mix. Okay. So if you want to do it from here, just change it to Kelvin temperature. Usually keep it at three, six, you know, from three, six to three, two, depending on how warm you want it to be. As you can see, it is now warm. You can make it warmer. You can make it 3 2. Okay? And it's going to be very, very warm. You can even go lower than that, depending on what you want to achieve. I want it to be white.
you know, I want it to be cool. If you feel the IES is too bright, you can come over here and reduce the brightness. You can make this in 15. That's why it's important that, you know, when you are doing this stuff, maybe make it instant so that when you make change, changes to one, that change you make to one is going to affect, you know, the other lights. Okay, you can see our IES light. If you don't like this pattern, you can go over there and select a different pattern, all right? Yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.